For your microeconomics final exam with the factor market unit, you're gonna to need to know the difference between marginal product and marginal revenue product. I'm a tutor, and if you've been confused on this, this is my simple explanation. Before we get started here, if you wanna see where you stand for your actual exam, go take my free practice exam in my bio. I've packed it with 25 of the most common types of problems I see professors put on their exams. With that being said, the first thing I wanna take note of here is the units column. All these units are not of output, but rather with the factor market, they're units of capital or land or labor. They're the number of units of a given factor that are going towards creating product, P, total product, marginal product, marginal revenue product. These units are not the final output, rather they're the factors used to create the product. Let's assume that we're working with machinery here or capital. So this is us having one machine, two machines, three machines, four machines, five machines. If we have one machine, I'm gonna say that we can create 10 units of output or 10 units of product. If we have two, let's say we can make 25, three, we'll say 32, four, we'll say 38, and I'll do 42. I'm admittedly pulling these numbers out of thin air. They don't really matter that much. What matters here is calculating marginal product based off of total product. This is no different than marginal benefit or marginal cost. We're just gonna find the change in total product that a given unit of machinery generates. The first unit is just gonna be a dash because there's not a previous unit to compare it to. But the second unit here, the second machine, generated 15 units of product. The third machine generated seven, the fourth generated six, and the fifth generated four. All I did there was 25 minus 10 is 15, 32 minus 25 is seven, 38 minus 32 is six, and 42 minus 38 is four. Marginal product is just the additional units of output or product that a given factor or given unit of a factor generates. All right, that's marginal product. Marginal revenue product, all you're gonna do is multiply marginal product by the price. So I'm gonna say that each unit is gonna be sold for 10 bucks. So that means that this first machine here generated 100 bucks, 10 units times 10 bucks, 100 bucks of additional revenue from the product. It just means how much money did that machine or worker or baker of land, whatever factory you're working with, add to your total revenue. This second machine added 150 bucks to our total revenue. This third one, seven times 10, added 70. Fourth, 60. And I'm sure you can guess what this last one is, 40. All right, if that helped and you like the way I explained microeconomics and are screwed for your final exam, I want you to go check out my microeconomics cram kit in my bio. I've packed in it all the core concepts and must know practice problems that I'd walk through with you if I were your tutor the night before your exam. So if you're screwed and out of options and need somebody to save your grade, go check out the cram kit now.